Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Uh, I'm Pastor Matthew Lane, uh, coming to you uh, from Faribault, Minnesota, where I am a pastor at Peace Lutheran Church. Um, and yes, I am the son of math wizard and all-around nice guy, Mr. Lane. And I am a Mayor Lutheran graduate uh, from the year 2002. Um, it is uh, my... Uh, privilege to be able to come to you with a, with a brief devotion uh, in these uh, times where uh, these types of devotions seem to be more and more common. Uh, and if you're like me, uh, they're kind of disappointing in many ways uh, because uh, for you and for the people uh, who are all around our world, we like to be together. Uh, disappointment's been a theme that I've been thinking a lot about. Uh, not uh, too long ago, we celebrated uh, Holy Week in which we have the opportunity to worship uh, in many different fashions. And um, you start on Palm Sunday, you move throughout that week with wonderful services. And uh, this year, it was a whole lot different. Uh, where I was spending time in the sanctuary uh, with one or two other people singing songs to uh, myself and a camera, essentially, uh, those songs that are, they're, they're so much uh, better when it is uh, filled, when the sanctuary is filled with all sorts of people and we sing those songs with gusto. Uh, it was disappointing. Um, it was in many ways a letdown. It was not what uh, I wanted it to be. I couldn't spend, fam couldn't spend time with my extended family for Easter. Also a disappointment. Uh, other disappointments that have been coming up are, are times where uh, having a parishioner uh, die and no funeral can be offered in the, in the, in the way that it normally is and, and it moves to simply a brief a graveside service. This is all things that bring about a disappointment. As kids in high school, I imagine your disappointments are growing uh, by the day. My kids are little. Uh, they're young, they're, they're still going to have many days ahead of them, most likely, that are filled with uh, wonderful experiences of, uh, that, of, of the youth, of times of youth. Uh, but for you, for high schoolers, specifically seniors, uh, you're losing out on all sorts of things that uh, many adults uh, cherish still into their adulthood as wonderful memories. Uh, things like sports, spring sports, myself, I... I've thought about this the past couple of, of weeks and, and how disappointed I would have been if I lost out on my senior year of baseball. Um, for some, you lose out on things like prom and perhaps even uh, no graduation uh, ceremony and, and, and parties and things like that. And I, and I can't imagine uh, the disappointment that many of you are going through. But see, the temptation is to simply feel sorry for ourselves and just allow our disappointment to consume us day after day. And I think there's a time and place for those feelings of, of sorrow and grief and, and sadness. Uh, the Christian faith speaks to those realities of the human experience, and it may come as a surprise to some, uh, but the main message of the Bible uh, is not to simply pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. Rather, the main message of Scripture is about a God who came to us in the person of Jesus Christ and entered into a whole pile of disappointment. These disappointments were, were ranging from the sins of people to the sickness of the world to death that is all around. And Jesus faced these disappointments he wasn't simply running away from them. He was willing to face those head on. But he didn't do it just for the fact that he wanted to take these things on. Rather, he faced these disappointments on your behalf. For most of us, the disappointments that we are facing in our day-to-day -day lives right now are, are relatively minor, if we're honest with ourselves. Yet for a few others, they are quite major, even losing people that they love. Yet even in the greatest of disappointments, we are invited to have hope. And that when there is faith in Jesus Christ, there is something beyond our disappointments. 
1 Thessalonians 4, uh, verses 13 and 14 says this, But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that they may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. No matter the magnitude of the subject matter of our disappointment, the hope that we have is Jesus Christ has overcome it all. No, this doesn't give us back some of the things that we have lost to this pandemic, but it does give us something that will never let us down. A Savior, one who walks with us in both the good times and in the bad. One more Bible verse for you to chew on here today. Psalm 34, 17 and 18. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. God hears your prayers and he wants you to cry out to him. Are you disappointed? Are you frustrated or sad about the situation that you find yourself in? You are righteous in Christ and are invited to cry out to God with the problems that are both big and small. I invite you to do that continually throughout your times of disappointment. Let us pray. O oh Lord, we ask that you be with our communities, our state, our nation, and our world in this time of pandemic. May you give us all wisdom as to the best course forward. May you give us all patience, always being reminded that you and you alone are in control. We ask that you be with the students of Mary Lutheran High School and specifically the seniors who have lost out on many cherished events and memories. Help them to deal with these disappointments in a healthy manner, trusting that their Savior has their best interest in mind. Through these times, may we be moved to a deeper faith that can cry out to you and praise you, trusting that you are our loving Father who cares for us, his children. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May you be blessed in these times. Stay safe and always trust in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God's blessings to you.